Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Rabb. Welcome to V Drum Lessons. All right, so right there you're hearing a bunch of variations of eighth notes with the right hand, and that's what we're gonna talk about next. Just some different patterns we can play, doing standard type of, you know, rock feel with the kick and snare, but the hi-hat can change. We, most standardly, we play eighth notes like this. One and two and three and four and one, two, three and four and. So that's what you're gonna be counting when you're playing these eighth notes. You have eight different choices of where you wanna play or not play, and that's the way I look at it. Just break it down to eight different note uh, values, um, and that note value being an eighth, uh, eighth note. So, first thing first, Let's go ahead and just do the um, off beats or the ands. So for example, one and two and three and four and. Okay, you get the idea? Now let's add kick and snare. Kick on one and three, snare on two and four. One, two, ready, play. One and two and three and four and. Now that groove should sound familiar. It's a real easy way to do like a disco groove. For example, speed it up a little bit. But this time I'm gonna start with uh, kick and we're gonna do two different variations of it. You hear this a lot. Which is, the bass drum has four on the floor. And I'm over the hi-hat on the amps. Or let's try it this way, which would be kick on one and three. All right, let's try another variation where we rest on beats one and beat three on the hi-hat. So the right hand will play this. One and two and three and four and, etc. Let's add to the groove to that. Three. Awesome, how about another one? Simple as this. One and two, three and four. One and two and three and four with a groove. One and two and three and four and. And then finally, what about the opposite? One, two and three, four and, et cetera. Here we go. Three, four, one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and with a groove. Two, three, four, one, two and three. Okay, and finally what I'm gonna do is just take some of these same variations we've done and move them around the kit because you can move your hand wherever you want. So I'll start off with that one, two, and three, four, and. So here we go. One, 